We're also learning more about what happened underground. Police say as the train left the 59th Street station in Sunset Park, the gunman set off a smoke bomb and then a second one and then started shooting. When the train arrived at the 36th Street station, passengers and the injured scrambled out onto the platform, many of them getting onto an R train that took them to the 25th Street station to escape. And today, police say that is how James got away as well. CBS 2's Jessica Moore live in the East Village with how they were able to track him from there and also what the federal charges all mean. Jessica. Well, Christina Marie's police say James dropped a multitude of clues along the way that ultimately helped narrow down their search and name him as their prime suspect. And tonight we're also learning more details about he escaped the how he escaped the train station after yesterday's attack. Frank James has been charged by complaint in Brooklyn federal court with one count of violating 18 U.S.C. sections 1992A7 and B1, which prohibits terrorist and other violent attacks against mass transportation systems. Federal prosecutors say 62-year-old Frank James crossed state lines from Pennsylvania to New York to carry out yesterday's violent subway attack, bringing with him a bag full of weapons, including hatchets, pepper spray, gas canisters, and a 9-millimeter handgun. He now faces a federal terrorism charge, which includes carrying out violence on board mass transit. New surveillance video shows James walking toward the subway just before the attack. Police say he got on a Manhattan-bound N train at Kings Highway and rode eight stops before strapping on a gas mask, detonating smoke bombs and opening fire inside the packed train car and on the platform at 36th Street. Police say James shot 10 people. None were killed. All of the gunshot wounds were to the lower body, not the head or torso. Police say James vanished after the attack. Investigators later found the handgun he used and discarded after it jammed mid-rampage. We believe, but this is still early in the investigation, that after firing his weapon 33 times at innocent New York City subway riders, Mr. James boarded an R train that had pulled into the station went one stop up and exited the 25th Street Station. At the 36th Street Station, cops recovered that bag of weapons and, most importantly, a key that led them to this nearby U-Haul, which investigators say the 62-year-old had rented in Philadelphia. We were able to shrink his world quickly. There was nowhere left for him to run. Newly unearthed social media videos show an angry James warning he was, quote, entering the danger zone and ranting about city officials. Those who are going to commit crimes, like the shooting, got shot in the chest out in Brooklyn, the old lady got hit in the head with a hammer, you can't, you can't stop that. That means you have to have a police a policeman on every station, and that's, that's just not possible. Police Commissioner Keechan Sewell praised the NYPD, ATF, and FBI for capturing James in just 30 hours. We hope this arrest brings some solace to the victims and the people of the city of New York. We also learned today that James has multiple prior arrests for crimes like criminal tampering, theft, and criminal sex acts. If he is convicted on this federal charge, he faces life in prison. Live in the East Village, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.